Hello, this is Don Whitaker from BrainBlinks.com and I'm going to give you a quick run through of the first preview build of a game I've been working on called Breeders. It's a virtual sandbox simulation style game that features these virtual creatures that have some very simple behaviors programmed in and they have to compete for resources and survive by reproducing. That's really their only goal is to uh, reproduce another generation of a copy of themselves. Here's a breeder here that I'm cleverly calling a cube <laughs> and what it does is it absorbs energy from the Sun and then when it reaches a threshold of energy it produces one of these seeds oops I'm getting bounced around it produces one of these seeds and that seeds then looks around for the closest catalyst and propels itself towards the catalyst in hopes of contacting it because if a seed can contact the catalyst it makes a copy of the mother creature and life continues on in the next generation so that's the only behavior that these cubes have programmed into them so any other behavior you see or all their actions are the result of those simple rules you can also see that these cubes get darker as they age all the breeders have a kind of age limit and they grow old and die um, this round spherical cow is a, a herder and they like to be in groups of three or more so before they even really go looking for food they're gonna go look for their buddies first and um, they they're they're okay when they see two when they see another but when they get a third one they're much happier and they'll tend to so they tend to form up into groups and then occasionally they go out looking for a catalyst so that they can reproduce and as they grow older they'll do that more often until they're basically only looking for catalyst at the very end of their lifespan and uh, when they do hit a catalyst when the mother hits a catalyst it drops a seed in hopes that that seed will contact the catalyst the seeds have no behavior of their own they're just kind of free roaming affected by the physics that was another goal of this game is basically just uh, give myself a good excuse to go throw around a bunch of physics enabled objects because uh, I'm building this with Unity 3D and Unity has some fantastic uh, physics features that are really easy to use so you can have I've had hundreds and hundreds of these physically enabled creatures oops clicked off it there of these creatures uh, what did I do uh, got an intermission of a 3D fractal <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, so it's just a great. Uh, I, I'm using it as an excuse to just play around with physics, explore the ideas of um, simple systems creating complex behaviors. Um, I've always been interested in kind of ecosystems and simulating that. So eventually, I'd like to have a whole ecosystem, you know, involving food chains and different ways to deliver this energy and all sorts of different creatures and you know plants in quotes things so um, there's several other creatures I program like this flipper that's just kind of a random chance the creature I've got the stacker creature that stacks up seeds and then scatters them all over the place over here is an experiment in a new way a, a different way to deliver energy these manica part mana particles I'm calling them um, when they hit a breeder, breeder, they give them extra energy, but they also shorten their lifespan in most cases. And some creatures they just kill outright. Um, so this is one way to in introduce a different, uh, some more variables into the system just to see what happens. It's interesting to see how they gang up. If if these boxes, the cubes get in that mana stream, they they die very quickly. So they love to feed because they're a greedy kind of creature and they need lots of these catalysts to keep their species going. Um, so they can overeat really easily and die. So I, I'm, I'm just having a blast watching these guys run around already and seeing the behaviors that have come about from just these few simple rules. So I thought this was a good time to post this preview build um, and get some feedback. Hopefully people are like-minded and enjoy this sort of nerdy stuff will uh, see it and I'm hoping to get some feedback for new ideas and maybe uh, what people would like to see in a game like this I've got lots of ideas of how to 
gamify this by making puzzles or even just building a game built around rewarding people for exploring um, and discovering new areas and new creatures in, in a virtual landscape. And uh, in this case you you do want to uh, try out the preview. The controls are very basic and kind of kludgy at this point, but it's basically just the standard first-person shooter controls with WASD and steering and looking around with the mouse. You can click to spawn a new creature or catalyst, a new breeder, and you control which going to spawn by pressing 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, the number keys. And it keeps track of what you're going to spawn down the lower left down there. And that's the only real controls for now. Oh, you can also jump, because every game needs a jump button. So yeah, there, there's a good walkthrough of uh, this preview build. Go ahead and give it a try. Give me some feedback. That'd be awesome. Uh, if you want to learn more about the game as it develops, you can subscribe at uh, breedersgame.com. I've got a website set up for the game. Or my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash kitchendawn, I think. So uh, sign up to one of those, and uh, you can keep, keep track of what's happening with the game. And uh, thanks for stopping by, and I will see you next time. Bye.